Item number SCP-2711 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-2711 is stored in a waterproof compartment in Storage Unit 25, Site 148. Testing of SCP-2711 must be conducted on site, away from any bodies of water. Related non-anomalous items are stored in Storage Unit 26. Description SCP-2711 is a large iron needle, 33 centimeters in length and 3 centimeters in diameter at its thickest. It does not show any signs of deterioration or rust. SCP-2711's anomalous effect activates when it comes in contact with bodies of water of more than 20 liters in volume. SCP-2711 alters the affected body of water so it takes on all of the physical properties of iron under the same temperature, except appearance. Note, for example, under room temperature, SCP-2711-1 possesses the qualities of solid iron while maintaining appearance of water while retaining its chemical components. The affected water is hence referred to as SCP-2711-1. The effect spreads at an initial speed of 20 liters per second and doubles every 5 minutes. The conversion process will stop once all of the water has been turned into SCP-2711-1. Water added to this point will not be affected. As long as there is more than 20 liters of SCP-2711-1 attached to SCP-2711, SCP-2711-1 will retain its current state. Otherwise, SCP-2711-1 will instantly turn back into normal water. Two sets of inscriptions are found on SCP-2711. The first set is confirmed to be in the same script used by SCP-2481-3, which is alleged to be the script used in the Shah Dynasty. A deep strike crosses the text out. The needle of Ruji, reforged by King Nu, to calm the waters, trapped the fierce beasts, and stopped the flood. The second set is confirmed to be in the small sealed script, standardized and introduced as a national standard during Qing Dynasty in China. Unlike the first set, the text is crudely engraved. Wu Yibang Addendum SCP-2711 was found in the right paw of a non anomalous rhesus macaque embedded 2.3 meters below the surface of a lake on Tongbai Shan, Henan Province, China. The lake was converted into SCP-2711-1 at the time of discovery. The body of the rhesus macaque dates back to around 600 CE, around the establishment of Tong Dynasty, but was well preserved. The subject was found in an approximation of the lotus position. It wore the common attire of Buddhist monks of his time, but the clothing was heavily torn. Further examination reveals that subject died of suffocation. Upon the removal of SCP-2711, SCP-2711-1 turned back into lake water. The terrain quickly became unstable and the lake was destroyed by a mudslide. A damaged well was discovered under the lake under subsequent cleanup. The well was made entirely of iron and is 66 meters deep. Broken chains and lock composed of beryllium bronze were discovered inside the well.